Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you about using the new video player uh, for the All Access Pass. So I have a podcast here. Uh, I'm just gonna click on uh, the play button, start the video, and then now you see all the uh, controls at the bottom of uh, the video player, of course. Let's just run through all these uh, different functions. So you can go back 10 seconds here, you go forward uh, 10 seconds here, you could also use the keyboard shortcuts and left and right arrows if you want to go back and forward just five seconds instead of 10 seconds. Play button, of course. You have uh, the time you're at and then the uh, full length of the video time right there. And volume, of course, a keyboard shortcut. Just uh, click M. And that's going to take the volume down if you want to do that. Now we have the AB looping. If you just want to take any section of the video and loop it. Just click on A for the A point, B for the B point. And that's just going to keep looping over and over again. You can also AB loop when you're in full screen mode and you'll see uh, the A, B, R right here in the right corner. So A and then B point gives you the seconds right here. And if you want to slow that down, you can come to the speed settings and do that. We'll go ahead and return to the normal speed. Reset that, eliminate the loop, close it out, go back to uh, normal, uh, out of full screen mode. You can just use the F keyboard shortcut if you want to go to full screen. So th those are some of the basic functions here. Uh, we also have this uh, bookmark icon. So say you like this section of the video at 51 seconds, you just click on bookmark. Maybe you want to come back to that later. It's something of importance uh, that you want to be able to easily find again. Uh, you could just add a title, you know, uh, import it, lick, or whatever you want to name it, you know. Save that. And now that's going to be added to your bookmark section over here. And it's also added to your bookmarks over here. So I just keep playing the video. And say we just fast forward it a bit. And maybe you want to come back uh, to this important lick I was talking about or that you like. You just click it. It's going to instantly return back to there. So you can create a number of different bookmarks over here uh, of sections of the light within this video. You know, it's a 30, almost 30 minute video. So if there's a few different sections that you really like uh, and you want to spend some time practicing them, practicing them every day, you can create a number of different bookmarks. And so you can easily come back to them uh, very quickly. So just say we have this section right here. You like that favorite part, you know? So you come to this video and these are two of the sections that you really like in this video. You want to spend some more time practicing on. I'll go ahead and start the video again. And so you can go back and forth between these without worrying about well, you know, what time you were at when that was occurring here, here, you know? It goes real quick and you can set up, you know, four, five, six, however many you want. You can also find all these bookmarks at your bookmarks page up here. So when you click on this link, it's going to take you right to that section. And then you just click the uh, play button and we're at that bookmark. So the bookmarks are really important, especially for the concept driven videos. And I teach a lot of concepts with, from within these solos. And if you come across a concept that I'm teaching inside a podcast, well, you can just bookmark it and say, come back later. It could be something with technique, uh, improvising. Um, it makes it easier to come back to, and you can just start practicing it instantly. 
Okay, so that's the uh, bookmarks. Uh, next up, chapter markers, if you want to jump in between in any different lick or section of the video. You can easily jump to them. They're also listed here on the timeline. So you can easily jump uh, to any lick right here. Uh, the resolution, if you're having trouble playing the video back, maybe you wanna jump off auto and just you know start at like 360p. Uh, we can flip the view of the video if you're left-handed. Uh, we have the speed options, you know, one, you can go for five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, to regular speed and up to 1.5 to two speed. Also have this zoom feature, but I'll tell you the zoom to me works better if you're using the mouse wheel. If you're using a mouse wheel, you just do the scroll wheel. So that's, that's a really cool feature. Just say, okay, you got this section. I can just zoom that in and drag it. And now I can really, really see uh, what's happening. Maybe you want to see how close I play to the frets, how I'm holding my wrist. And maybe you want to see this other hand, how I'm exactly picking way up close. You know, you can do that. Or maybe if I'm raking one of the notes and you can see exactly how I'm raking, I'm just using the mouse wheel to uh, scroll back and forth, and then you can drag. You can also just click this X to get out. So that makes it really easy to see something. Uh, we'll go back to the solo, A, B, that lick. So we got that. Zoom in on what exactly what I'm doing. And Let's release this, go back. And so that little part, maybe you wanna see that little part right there. You can see that little bitty rake right there, really up close, up, down. So the zoom feature with the mouse wheel, wheel works really well. Um, you could also just use this little bar to zoom in. To me, it's easier with the mouse wheel, you know. You could just zoom all the way in or whatever, drag, wherever, zoom out instantly by scrolling the wheel. Okay, and the last thing I want to talk to you about is the picture-in-picture uh, -picture function. So basically, when you have a video here and you click the picture-in-picture, -picture, you're going to remove this where you can drag the video anywhere you like. You can also uh, resize this, make it real large. I'm not sure if the browser um, dependent about how big you can make this video. It seems like it might be different in Chrome. I'm using the Brave browser and you can resize it really large if you like. So one benefit of doing this is first, if we have you know the PDF right here, you can easily just watch the lesson with the video. And as I'm going through it, you can just follow along with the PDF. You can see both pretty well. Um, you have to go up here if you want to access the chapter markers. That's not going to be available in this little picture in picture function. We got to look to. Now we'll play it. And we can follow along the lesson with the PDF right here. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts uh, when you have this a picture in picture playing. So if we could stop, start with the space bar. And you can also, like I said, use the chapter markers to go in between the video and whatnot. We can also use uh, the keyboard shortcuts of left and right arrows to maneuver back between the video right here. So another cool thing about the picture in picture is if you want to browse the site, maybe check out something else. Um, 
I have this other tab open. You have to keep this tab open. We can browse the site. You could go to the forums, maybe ask a question about this video where you're watching it, keep it fresh in your mind. You can still keep resizing it. You want to put it over here in the corner, drag it. And maybe you want to have something else you're looking for that I'm referring to in this video. You can also browse other places other than my site. You go to some other website, you can still have this available. So maybe you want to check out something else. I don't know. Uh, if you want to get back to the lesson you were working on, click back to tab and we're instantly back here. So pure, pretty cool feature, especially if you want to use the tab to follow along uh, during the lesson. And like I said, you know, chapter markers uh, are still going to work. Okay, so that's the uh, basic features of the new video player for the All Access Pass.